What's going on boys, it's your boy, Donnie boy. Today we're back with another reaction video. Today we got a new album by Quavo and Takeoff called Only Built for Infinity Links. So I think this is one of the first like ever Quavo and Takeoff like duo album. You know, it's about like Takeoff or not Takeoff, uh, Offset is not on the album. So it's not like a Migos album, which kind of sucks, I ain't gonna lie. Honestly, I'm kind of hyped for this. Like I've not heard Quavo or Takeoff in like a while, honestly. I haven't heard them in a while. I did listen to the singles that came out, the recent ones that came out like Hotel Lobby and what was it? It was uh, Us versus Them. I listened to those two when it came out. I listened to it on my own. I didn't really, uh, I wasn't really in like the reaction mood when those came out. Yeah, we're just gonna hop right into it. Bro, I, I fuck with the cover too. It reminds me of um, Outkast. Like, cause I'm pretty sure that's what it's from. Like, there's no way it's not, there's no way it's not influenced by uh, Outkast. But um, I fuck with the Aku Aku chain, the Crash Bandicoot chain takeoff has. That shit is hard. He probably had a crazy shot at him. Oh my God. I don't know what an Infinity Link is, by the way. I don't even know what that is. Like, what, I don't even know what this is supposed to mean, but let's just get to it. Wait, is he explaining it? I literally asked what it was and he just started explaining to it. It's a strong ass intro. Mama. I fuck with the flow, I'm not gonna lie. I fuck with that flow heavy. That was the strongest intro, I ain't gonna lie. That shit went hard as fuck. That shit, like, went hard as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Next one, we got Tony Starks. I bet it's gonna be like, I'm rich like Tony Stark. Hey, I'm rich like Tony Stark. That's probably what it's gonna be like. <laughs> you see, like, Nardwar? Oh, that was, that was kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie. That was kind of funny. They keep asking questions like they did Nardwar. <laughs> I thought they would forget, I don't know why, but I thought they would forget about Nardwar, I ain't gonna lie. Like, that, that, that Migos Nardwar interview was so, like, they were, like, half asleep in that interview. So, I'm surprised they even remember him. I'm not gonna lie. The flow in this one's definitely, like, a lot slower. But, um, I don't know. I think it's I. I think it's I so far. I did. I wonder, what, I wonder why they separated for. Like, I wonder why Offset left. This one wasn't necessarily like a banger, but it was I. Right. I think it was like decent. I, I like the Narwhal line. The Narwhal line like carries. Next time we got Hotel Lobby, and I actually listened to this already. I listened to it on my own. Um, I should have honestly should have made a reaction video too. I ain't gonna lie. But um, next we got Bars into Captions. Mm. I fuck with the background vocal. I don't know who that. I don't know who that is, but I can hear that. I like the little background vocal. I don't know why I like that. That like harmony in a way. This is hard, bro. I fuck with this flow. Mm. I'm honestly surprised. I'm, I'm like, I'm like really surprised that this album is like going so well. I don't know why. Like, that sounds so bad. Like, I'm not trying to be a hater, but like, Culture One, classic. Culture Two, mid. Culture Three, I heard it was bad. Didn't listen to it. And like now, it's like, wow. Like, I'm, this is like, ref this is like a good album, bro. Like so far, like this is this is good. Like this is crazy. I fuck with Kevo's part more because I like the background. I don't know why. Like, I love that background. The background vocal. Oh shit, I thought, I thought someone came in my house. I was like, oh shit. Next one we got See About It featuring Mustard. I think that's the uh, producer. Mm. Mm, this, is, this is a banger. This is a fucking banger. This is, this is like a party song. They have not missed once. Like, Tony Stark's was, like, underwhelming, but, like, that shit was still, like, a pass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, was, that was definitely a banger. That was definitely a banger. Next one, we got To The Bone with Young Boy. That's like, the, that's, like the, that's like the, what is it, like, the typical, like, NBA Young Boy beat. Like the... That just, that just screams Young Boy. So far, it's a good, good flow, but it's kind of just like, mm, not my thing. I, I like the harder beats, I ain't gonna lie. I fuck with the harder beats. What? What do you say? You say freaky sneaky? Yeah, this song definitely was, this, this song is definitely long as fuck. Like I, I just said that, but like, damn, like I, I don't know. I'm just like, oh, I, I don't know. I'm, I just need, I just need something new. <laughs> Next song we got, not out. 
swap out. Swap out. You can't find it, fly to an island, hop off a jet. We at the sex retreat. Bitches run around We at the sex retreat? I ain't been home in weeks. Yeah, so far, this one's alright. This, this one's got a good flow, but it's like underwhelming. It's the same as uh, Tony Stark's for me. It's like it's kind of just underwhelming. With a good, uh, it's got a good flow though. It's like the baby. Let's go. Yeah, this one was mad underwhelming. I ain't gonna lie. This one's mad underwhelming. I wasn't. That's probably my like least favorite so far. But next we got Chocolate Young Thug and Gunna, bro. I literally cannot wait. Mm. Wait, is he gonna be a verse on the phone? Imagine, imagine, imagine Young Thug's just on the phone, like in the jail phone. That'd be crazy. But they're both, no, I forgot they're both in jail, so they're both gonna be on the phone rapping. That'd be crazy. The beat's hard as fuck, I ain't gonna lie. That beat is so hard. I like how, like, I don't know, it's got like a melodic beat. Mmm. Mm, hold on, hold on. Bruh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was not expecting him to go crazy like that. I ain't gonna lie. I was not going. I was not expecting him to go crazy like that. Well, that, 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 ooh, hold on. I wasn't expecting that. Like, that had, had a transition. It literally, like, it, it just, like, it just slid into the gun. It just, he, he, like, slid right into gun. That was crazy. No, Young Doug, Young Doug slid on this fucking song. Like he went crazy in this song. I ain't gonna lie. Like that, that was like, that was like the peak. Of, like that was like, that was like the best part of the whole song. Next song we got two thirty or two dot thirty. Oh, is it Young Doug? He said you don't do perk. I think I remember that interview. There's like an interview with like uh, Quavo or like Takeoff, and he's like, he's like, I'm itching for a perk. I'm itching for a perk. You don't do perk. Or who? Wait, who said that? I don't remember who said that. Hold on, bro. It's gonna bug me. I gotta look this shit up. Oh, this one. Log Logotits or Logotits? Perk fit. You want one? No. Why don't do perk? No, I don't personally. I don't personally. Hmm. <laughs> this kind of this kind of gives you like Culture Two vibes. I don't know why. This reminds me of Culture Two because like Quavo is so melodic on that album, like so melodic. VVs. I thought this one's gonna be underlooked. I don't know why. This one's gonna be. This is. This is definitely gonna be an underrated song on the album for sure. Percocet when I walk with a bit, yeah. Next song we got. Look at this. It's got a long ass intro. I ain't gonna lie. Oh. That was a complete. Genre change of a beat. That was crazy. That like that was a complete genre change. Well, this is definitely this is definitely a concert song. Mm. Bro, I was not. That, I'm I'm so like confused right now. I'm so confused. That whole like build up was was like I don't even know. That whole build up was kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. This song bounces, bro. This song got bounce. Mm. This is a fucking banger. This is this is immediately going in the playlist. This is crazy. This is, this is like this. I don't even know. I, I'm speechless, bro. I'm speechless. I love when they go like on and off on rap songs. Like I love when like Quavo comes in, Takeoff comes in, Quavo comes in. Like it's just like hand, they just go hand in hand. Like oh my god, I just love that shit, bro. That shit goes so hard. This is the best song on the album. This is probably the best song on the album. I ain't gonna lie. Like next to Chocolate. And yeah, like low key, like this is like this is like top three of the album for sure. Like right now, this is probably top three songs of the album. Next song is Mixie featuring Summer Walker. I don't think I've heard shit from Summer Walker. I ain't gonna lie. This song this should be really good for four minutes and thirty seconds. I ain't gonna lie. So it's not nice. Bro, I can feel a sneeze coming. This is so off topic, but I can feel a sneeze coming and it's like bothering me. That's on God. Where'd that come from? This song is low-key drag, I ain't gonna lie. Like, this is, like, I'm gonna be 100% honest. Like, I was kind of feeling it, and now it's like, oh my gosh, I low-key just went to end. Mm. 
Yeah, honestly, this one like dragged on a lot. I ain't gonna lie. Like it had too much. O there was too much open space where I was like, okay, I need like I need things to happen. I don't really know. Um, next song is messy. That beat sounds messy. This one's I ain't gonna lie. So far, it's I. So you just I. Wait, didn't he literally just say this? Like right now? Didn't he just say this? Yeah, this one's I. I don't know. This one's this one's definitely mid. This one's definitely mid. Like I don't know. It's I. It's just it's just I. I don't really know. Next song is Nothing Changed. So this one has a music video. I'm pretty sure it came out like you know. I don't know when it came out. I ain't gonna lie, but we're going to listen to it. But bro, that ad showed up, and I got so scared. I was like, no way. This is actually the one song that came out before the album that I didn't listen to. Is it Quavo's album on the poster? I saw that. That is, look, it's Quavo's album. So his solo album. Oh, it's, wait, it's Takeoffs. I just realized that's Takeoffs on the wall, too. Bro, comment below what your favorite uh, solo project from them were. Mine was definitely Quavo Huncho, 100%. Quavo Huncho was the best. This is hard, I ain't gonna lie. This got, this got a cool vibe. It's like a, it's like a cool, like, uplifting vibe. Yeah, I feel like this whole album, like, they had, no one has carried each other. No one has carried at all. Like, like Quavo and Takeoff have had the exact same energy, like, every single song. Not, like, in a bad way. Like, I mean, like, like they've, they've had, like, the same, like, great energy. Like, no one's carrying, you know what I mean? That's, that's what I mean. Yeah, that shit went hard. That shit definitely went hard. Next is Integration. What? Is he saying all my diamonds white but I'm not racist? But I'm not racist? Like him talking to himself? Like what? That's confusing. That's such a weird line. All my diamonds white but I'm not racist? That's so weird. Quavo's white and Takeoff's black. What is that video from? I'm curious. Can't date white guys. Next song is Big Stunna with Birdman. I heard this one. I thought it was, eh, I ain't gonna lie. Like Birdman, Birdman's verse is kind of weak. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know who that dude is. I've never heard Birdman in my life. But um, next is Us Versus Them. Like I said, I heard that one too. And the second to last song of the album is Hell Yeah. I have a, feel I have a feeling these two are going to be mid, I ain't gonna lie. I have a feeling that these two songs are going to be mid. There's a small feeling. This one's I don't know. It's got a good flow, but like, it's, it's I. Like, I like, their, I like their bangers, bro. Like, I look at this. Um, chocolate, like all those songs, bangers, bro. I need, I need more bangers. It's a little too, it's a little too toned down for me. Like I said before, like I said at the beginning, it was, it was, I, I don't know, it's just, it's just, I, it's not really like, it's just a little too toned down for me. But next, or last song in the album, I just bit my cheek. Fuck. Last song in the album is Tools. Four minute song, bro. Hmm. I thought it was gonna be kind of like tame at first, cause like it's an outro, you know what I mean? An outro to the album. I thought it was gonna be like a little tame. She put money on my mom. She pussy make the bag fart. Is that what you just said? It's kind of questionable, but it goes hard. Yeah, I think I think it's alright. I don't know. I, I like the, I like how it went hard, but now it's like slow. Like the feel, like the banger feeling like fizzled out for me. That's a Mike D outro right there. That's a Mike D outro. That shit was hard. That was a cool little outro. I ain't gonna lie, it was a cool little outro, but like kind of dragged on. Um, that shit went hard. That shit went hard as fuck. I think that uh the first like what two thirds 
bangers, bro, bangers. I'd probably give it like a seven or eight out of 10, I ain't gonna lie. Seven out of 10 is solid for me. It's, it is, like I said, it is really refreshing to hear um, Quavo and Takeoff actually make bangers. Like, not like Culture 2 sleepers, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, my favorite on the album was, my favorites on the album were definitely Chocolate, Look at this, and I think there's like one here. Nothing changes pretty good. Bars in the captions. That shit went hard. That shit went hard as fuck. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far. Um, comment down below what your favorite song on the album was, and what, you, what did you think of the album? Like, let me know in the comments. If you like this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you next video. Peace out.